And then this is that, is it Asian lettuce or whatever it's called? It's pretty good. Um, silver beet. And then in here, we've got red onion, white onion, and shallots are in the middle, I think. And then beets, carrot, strawberries. Actually, there's usually, oh, there's a little baby there usually some growing um is this capsicum yeah capsicum and then cucumber and then we have snacksicums here with a, a sunflower my beautiful friend faith bought me but the horses <clears throat> they took a bite of it it's yeah we just we're not gonna talk about that um that happened and then this, these are my sunflowers. They're starting to come through. I'm so excited. And then I have paper daisies here because I use these to wrap and decorate my ceramic packages when I send them out. Um, they just dry with colour really well and it's beautiful. And then I've got some carrots here and then some corn and look. It's, yeah, it looks really good. And then some tomatoes, watermelon, sweet potato, some other things. And then more tomatoes. Being silly. Being silly.
I'm meeting my friend at the market, so <clears throat> it's like 7, it's Wednesday, and I gotta get ready, because I gotta leave in like 20 minutes, so. That's Pearl. I was working at a ceramic studio. I had such a good routine with my Bible study, I'd get up in the mornings and do it pretty much, I'd say, 8 times out of 10. Also, this is the brand that I use for most things. It is so clean. She uses ingredients that you would probably have in your pantry. Like, I could eat this. And that's how it should be. That's how skincare should be. If you can't ingest it, it shouldn't be going on your body. That's my uh, philosophy, if you will. I've been, just because I work an after hours job and it shifts and it, and it does change from time to time, I've been really bad with my Bible study, as in, there hasn't really been any. And I miss being so on fire and just the wisdom and grace that I would get from being in the Word so much. And I, and I miss that. I don't like feeling like this. So I'm trying to figure out a routine because every week shifts are different and like it's the same roster, but I don't do the same hours every week, if that makes sense. So yeah, I, I really am trying to prioritize finding a new routine with my night shifts and then also my mornings, because I don't necessarily love doing Bible study at like 3 p.m. But it's just gonna be something I have to do. So I'll show you what it's like now. So this is it, this is my little controller. Okay, so layer number one. Okay, layer number two. So the first layer was my beige um, candlestick holders, which are like a marble effect. And then this is my oat collection. Um, so those are those ones there. In the glaze, we'll turn into that um, quail egg looking glaze that I have. So that's layer two. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be only room for number three. Um, so we'll see what I can fit in. Alrighty, and then the final layer. So, um, 1200 degrees for 12 hours going up, and the cooling period will take 12 hours, so it's a 24 hour fire. Um, these are my oat dripping mugs. I don't know how to, uh, what I'm gonna call the variant between the two. So I have this without the drip, and then with the drip. Um, but I did mugs because um, then I'll be done with mugs for my stock when I'm ready to do markets and upload a website. Um, so I figured I could just do all the takeaway cups together and this will finish off that sort of just finishing things off as I go um, but yeah so that oh, I'm always so scared something's gonna fall but that looks pretty secure that's the time I'm sort of just debating how I'm going to do this. So the things left that I need for my stock for my launch is bowls, finished takeaway cups, and some more vases. Vases I'm going to do, so I've got two collections. I've got my beige, which is this marble, marble, clip, marble effect. And then I've got my oat, which is, I actually don't have an example with me. And then I've got this new glaze. This one is limited edition. It's really hard to get my hands on, but I love the coloring. It's similar to my oat, but not quite the same. So I'm thinking, because I only have bowls, takeaway cups, and some vases left before I can launch, um, and those takeaway cups are waiting, I think I'm going to do all the takeaway cups. So I think I had about six or eight there. Then I need to do that in the beige and also in this new place. Now, I think I'm going to call this Luna just because it's got those pink and purple hues to it, but I'm not sure. So for now, I'm going to call this Luna, but I would prefer like a more earthy, natural name. I just can't think of it right now. Like Amber wouldn't really suit that because um, it's not amber go figure 
So yeah, I think we need to do takeaway cups and do bowls another day. But yeah, I'm gonna try and finish up at about 12 because I would like to go to the gym and then come home and feed the cows and all that before I start night shift tonight. So that's my plan. I'm gonna smash out this, make the lids, attach them, everything. This is my paddock. I mean, my studio overlooks the cow and horse pastures and it's so beautiful. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Oh, no food. No, not here. Hi. Are you watching me do pottery? Burly, burly. I'll these ones and then I'm just going to take a quick break um, and then I'll throw these and then I'll make the lids for them. Hi sweetie. Hi. It's about 11.30. Um, I just had some steak um, and now I'm having some strawberries and organic dates. They're my favourite. There, I use them as like a little bit of a pre-workout, give you a bit of a kick, but also satisfy sweet cravings <clears throat> really well. Look at how big this is. About yesterday. So I didn't film anything just because I really wasn't feeling it and yeah, I just did it. Um, I was having a very inward day and what I mean by that was feel all the feelings I was feeling but also not have a victim mentality I was processing things and working out how I wanted to react and how um, my actions and reactions would reflect on me and affect other people <sighs> Nala and Simba are like right there sleeping it's very cute um, and I just wanted to touch base on the fact, <clears throat> I'm sure we've all, I'm sure you've probably heard of it, but in the Bible where it mentions um, forgiving 70 times 7 times a day, or to turn the other cheek, it is, it is fun and games to read that and go, yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll do that when the time comes. And then for it to actually happen, for people to hurt you repeatedly or people who don't want to say sorry, for people who think they're in the right. Oh. Um, I think these are off. It is so hard. It's very hard. So I was just sort of feeling my frustration, but also not playing the victim and just processing how I'm going to move on, how I'm going to treat them moving forward, making sure I'm still very loving. Um, and open, but also trying to let it get the best for me. And I also think it was a mix of I'm PMSing and it's my week of, as I said, night oh, night shifts. So yeah, it's a bit of 
not having enough sleep, big emotions happening, as well as PMSing. So, there are your Monday markets this morning with Soph. And I must say, I'm not the biggest fan of your Monday. Yandina is my all-time favourite, and if you know me, you know that I try to go as often as I can. Um, but your Monday was good. It was nice to give it a change. It doesn't really have the same feeling as Yandina. They're more of country markets, and that's I love that. Um, but yeah, dinner was fun, and it's a Wednesday, so it was very quiet, and it's what well, it was overcast. I saw this quote, and I reposted it on my threads. I think I'm going to use my threads as just a words of wisdom, or like life lessons that I learn, or like thoughts to pop down. When I post, I'll, I'll show you. Oh, there's also I'm almost through The Ends With Us. It's such a good book. It, I forgot how um, confronting it is. Wow, what is going on? Mm, threads, that's what I was doing. Um, so here's a few of my ready threads. So, my one two days ago was to be made fun of or called lame or mocked in the eyes of someone I would never want to be like is absolute success. And then the other one was love them anyway but you don't have to be a doormat. And then the one I did this morning was venture through life with a soft heart rather than a hard heart. Okay, so these ones are laid out. I'm going to pop the lids on them, cut the holes out, sponge them and stamp them.